Hello everyone and here we are the Total War League 2 finals finally the Emperor getting this up onto YouTube the might is mighty and this battle commences as here we have Macadon with the cavalry we'll take a peek at the army formations here the the compositions the salient calf and a citizen calf is general going to be the companion calf and I am happy to have a companion in me what was that toy story you got a friend in me that sounded kind of weird but whatever another thessalian and another citizen calf let's take a peek at his front line we got a thorax on his left flank pike more pike pike again pike you think this is gonna be pike too more pike more pike and more pike and one other thorax so two thorax looks like about six seven pike i had to count in my head his arrows he's choosing to go with the peltis and this i see some slingers two slingers in the middle three slingers in the middle and two peltis on the side it's a little bit of a balance here let's take a look at galatia this is peleus by the way that, by the way this is this is white cloud is macedon is Macedon and Peleus is Galatia. You're gonna have lots of Galatian legionnaires, I can imagine. Three Galatian riders. Let's basically yeah, double check. Three Galatian riders. His front line looks like some slingers, some Syrian archers, three Syrian archers, so very, very mighty unit. And another slinger on the other side, followed up with some Levy Freeman in the back. Four Levy. They are going to be the only option to take care of that cav. Unless this general, this noble horse general, can make some action and make an impact. As let's press play the Galatian Legionnaires, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So no Galatian swords, just Galatian Legionnaires. And I believe in, I saw the load up screen, Macadon brought 19 units. So he was down one unit. Looking good for Galatia right off the bat. We got a nice balance of power. A nice, beautiful balance as the, uh, the Galatian Riders looking to uh, hurt some Cav wisely. Going after the Thessalian Cav is there they are right in. Well, no losses. I like I like Shock Cav against Skirm Cav. I don't know why. I don't know why. You'd have to compare their stats, but they really don't lose much. They don't they don't die that quickly compared to other units. Their armor's the same. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, the Thessalian have 40. I just I don't know. Maybe I'm speaking out out of my butt, but uh, you know what I mean. I I feel like Shock Cav is less resistant to. Missile cab. It could just be me. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but whatever. As the Galatian Riders trying to skirm, trying to get something going here, guys. This is the chance to be the first ever Total War League 2 champion. This is, there's lots on the line. I, I wish I could have been the first. I wish I could have been the first Total War League champion, but it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be as the Galatian Riders just riding along as their name suggests. The Citizen Cav hungry. And the Thessalian even hungrier, the very heavy shot cap, but don't... If, if those the Thessalian about 740... Oh, they're heavy. Okay. I thought it was very heavy. Another Emperor Bluff. Or, or, or whatever you want to call it. Another Bluff. He screwed it up. He screwed up this commentary. Goodness gracious, Emperor. Get it under control. Get it under control as the Galatian Riders just testing the waters. Let's speed it up a bit, see if we can't get some... Some nice action for the people, for the people viewing at home, eager for blood. Then we'll take a peek at the aerial view brought to you by ACH Pest Control. We love ACH Pest Control, okay? Look at that view, some movement on the Macedonians. As the Galatians getting eager, very eager for blood. I'd be eager for blood too, guys. We're going, uh, if I'm Galatia, if I'm Peleus, I'm going up against a spear faction. And this even better, it's all pikemen. It is all pikemen. What does Galatia need to do here, guys? Galatia needs to just decimate this cab. Get rid of the cab. I would I would hold... There, there's no mobility on Macedon. Just try your best to focus on those horses. you, you got to somehow get those... Maybe get the arrows on them. Get the Levy Freeman. Just do not... Do not take any charges in the back. That will hurt. This noble horse going to be very key. Can Peleus and the Galatians leave that noble horse alive long enough... To make an impact as the slingers moving up with Macedon and some riders coming out quick to test, quick to match. They see they want blood as there's your first fire right on the slingers taking some damage. Like, okay, I, the, the Galatian riders fired too. But this, this is the first, I think this is the first death. I don't think anybody died over there. As the Galatian riders are active, they're... I wouldn't be surprised if they charge here. They're shooting some arrows. He's got a free reign. He's driving along. Okay, there he comes. Here he comes. Oh, sitting there. Okay, interesting. 
Interesting, but the arrows from Galatia overpowering Macedon are gonna be tough for them. Here, here it comes, okay. So Macedon leaving his slingers unprotected. Un oh my! They charged in and they threw a pillar in their face. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna hurt as the thorax looking to uh, fend them off, but only five losses from the Galatian Legionnaires. So not really much happening there. The five arrows, you know, maybe maybe a sneaky cav in. If he kills some arrows, he does have Pilla of the Galatian Legionnaires. But right now, huge losses for Macedon. Choosing to charge in the Galatian Riders. Not so sure about that one. Right in to the Tharax Swordsman. He could have potentially a misclicked, double clicked, and they charged in. But those units might be dead unless he notices and get them out. Okay, he's getting them out. I was worried. I was worried. So the four shot cav, Macedon has opted to go with his shot cav all on one end. And only two Levy Freeman here to counteract. Moving back wisely. He's got the mobility, Galatia. He's gonna have to use that to his advantage. Here comes the Skirm Cav. Getting some shots in, shooting once. Still no losses on the Citizen. We've seen Asair do this so well. There's a nice volley, taking one down. We've seen Asair do this, and Peleus, I think he's got a hero. And his hero might start with an A, and his name is Asair. His name is Asair as the Cav, taking some hits, but not many losses, that's the name of the game. The Pikemen pushing in, I don't see any Pike formation yet. And wow, one pike completely decimated. Galatian Riders out there looking, they were looking to rout, but came back under. They came back under the, uh, the they said, I want to fight under Peleus, I'm not going to run. I'm not going to run. Will his troops say that at the end? Whose troops will run? As Galatia is still moving back, and the pikemen running in. I, if I'm Galatia, keep moving back. If Mastodon wants to run, let, it, let them run. As the volley is in again, finally doing some decent damage to the Citizen Cav. Ten units killed. As the pikemen getting a bit eager, they're still moving fast. You see some, there's active. They're active. A slayer might get caught here, I don't know. Uh-oh, uh they're definitely gonna get caught. That will be some losses. But the pikemen not in pike. Not in pike, we, okay. Foreman Phalanx, we heard it. You heard it, I heard it, everybody heard it. I don't see, hold on, hold on. I don't see this Galatian. This Galatian, oh, they're way over there. I was like, where are his riders? Where is Riders as the pike go in? Interesting strategy. Looks like he's charging in first and then forming the pike phalanx. Hopefully he forms the phalanx everywhere as we get in on these units. There come the poles. They're getting their poles out. They're big poles. But already a legionnaire right in the back. What happened to that middle line? I think he I think he had lost a cav. That's probably what happened as a Thessalian cav crushing the Levy Freeman. Ooh, big hits. This is the name of the game. The big, big hits by the cav. Macedon going to have to use this cav wisely, use it tremendously. So far he is, he's routing a Levy Freeman. No units getting in, kind of sitting there. Not the wisest move, we'll see if he can do anything else. So a, a two Thorax have been routed. As Levy Freeman up here routing another Pikeman. I think I said the wrong name last time, Pikeman. The Pikeman down here are routed, so two Pikeman. And a third right there. It could potentially be a fourth of those Thorax don't get, uh, don't get going. Peltus still in the back, still a key unit, and the companion calf sitting in the rear. He's got a clear charge right to these arrows. These arrows of Peleus and the Galatians could be very, very big. Could be very big. The noble horse was a little slow, and so the Levy Freeman did not get involved. Did not get involved, and here come the men. Here comes a charge right on the general. And let the bodies hit the floor as that old song tells you to, as they are right in a magnificent hit. Huge hit. A little bit of a pillow from the Levy Freeman. You like to see that. The Noble Horse looking to get out. Maybe it's the Thessalians. I think the Thessalians are pushing out. As the com the Citizen Cav trying to get in the back of these uh, Galatian Legionnaire. And okay, it looks like some units are over there stuck. I don't know if, Pe I don't know if Peleus and the Galatians know or even Mastodon knows it. They're just kind of sitting there. As now the Slingers, I hope they're out of ammo. I highly doubt it, but they're kind of just walking in to meet their maker. I don't understand. So it's a slinger on slinger battle. I think, okay, those are the Syrian. Syrian on slinger battle, just as good. Look at those Chad armored versus the virgin no armor. That is just not going to turn out well. Oh, what in the face? That guy's wearing a sun hat, though. He, at, le at least he's not going to get sunburn, right? There's no sunburn. He will not be sunburned as no more pike here. But look at this. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm missing something? Did the Emperor miss something? <laughs> Where I just 
I think I think the general is yes, dead. I can't believe I just missed that. That is shameful. I'm not gonna go back. But uh, the general missed. I think the Galatian general is dead. We see the companion cav in there. He must have shocked right into the back. Oh yeah. Gosh. If we can see some dead bodies. I see some. I see some noble horse. I oh that is embarrassing. I shouldn't have missed that. Anyways. Anyways, it is what it is. The Galatian general dead, so a glimpse of hope, tooth of sailing, and a companion cav still kicking tr strong, 33, 40, and 60 men there. So a huge blow from the Galatians, as here come the charges. Not set, not ready, and a gigantic hit, completely on the ground. Mastodon putting in the numbers, winning decisively, it says. Here come another shot cav in the back, here it comes. Turning at the last second, but a huge hit again. Huge is the name, and the companion cav is the game, as now they can actually focus on these Celtic Slingers going to be completely caught off guard. The, the Riders could potentially form a defensive area, but here come the companion cav, eager for blood, right in, right in, looking very good. As the shot cast staying a bit long, I don't know how, that is not good. Get those men out, they're not doing the best. The Galatian Riders in the back. The Peltus too, we'll see if these, these Riders want to challenge the Peltus. Risky challenge. Risky challenge because those those uh, Peltas can really, really hurt. He sees a unit in the back and he's going to take care of them. So it's just the companion cav and a few th the sailing who do find... Wait, oh, those are the riders. Oh, you can't attack your own unit. Fool! You fool, Emperor. But there they are, some riders in and some shots. The Thessalian looking to get in. I'm going to do some decent... I would imagine some decent numbers on that charge, but only six charging. It's 41. The general has hit a big hit in the back, routing a legionnaire and routing a Syrian archer. So huge work, but three units here from the Galatians. Two more legionnaires kind of stuffed up on each other. And some riders. And I think two full peltists. Those peltists are big, the companion calf big. And the emperor will try to catch one rear charge by the companion calf. It has been shameful. That Galatian legionnaire has routed and here come the Syrians. They are done in the, in the, in the, in the, in the companion calf. Looking to move on, not gonna finish them off, but they might finish themselves off, that's what she said. As here come the pike, and the, uh, uh, and the combated cavalry. Beautiful charge, 240, 250, I can't even keep up. 250 kills, an absolute decimation. As Galatia, trying to hold some units. He's got the Syrian archers not protecting a pillow off, but did the pillow kill anybody? Doesn't, doesn't look like the pillow killed much there. So the pillow not doing anything. Another Levy Freeman are the next target. The companion caps still 50 men remaining. Now 49. They are losing some men. As the full legionnaire opting to go up here. Gonna be caught off completely, completely off guard. And the, and the, and the, the sailing get in. They are gonna route, but not after going away with 119 kills. I just saw 219 and a big hit right here. Macedon is going quicker than the Emperor can keep up. 321. As the Galatians not gonna have it, 22 men going to route. Going to route here. The companion cav got the numbers, got the manpower. As the Levy Freeman chasing in, losing a using a general ability. It's the second wind. Building his fatigue back up, but here comes a big hit. Right in. There they are. Not stopping as the units chasing after the companion in and out, in and out, just like your mother. Ooh! Toe roasted! Anyways, here come the companion cab. And the Peltus looks like they still. I don't see. Okay, no more arrow. They're charging in, so it's just one companion cab. I was feeling good with, with Macedon, but the units? There's no more units. It's just the companion. And we would not set at all. Not set at all. Ooh, look at that guy go down. Ooh. That man went down, but not before the damage was done. The Galatian Legionnaires being hit hard. They are in shield wall. There's nothing to protect them from these companion cab just trying to get something in. Maybe a pillow, maybe just anything. You can't stop pursuing this cab. I, I don't even know what Galatia can do here. 32 cab left, but we see two routes of the four units. Two routes of the four units. Can Macedon pull off a miracle? He's got 31 Cav left and a levy unit routing. They're wavering. And Macedon recognizes this. Here comes your next charge. No set by the Galatians. Just completely. Oh, 
centered, and that is going to be a big blow. We'll see how they hold, yes, only losing that. one. Only losing one as he ranks up the kills, racks them up, 429, 430, two routes now, two yes, of the four, the Levy Freeman say bye-bye, I left some chicken in the oven, they gotta get home, Understood. they gotta get home in the Glacier the Legion, they're not looking good, the companion cam routing though, they lost quite a bit actually, they did not quite get out, are they gonna hold, are they gonna go hold, here comes the next charge right in, right in, the companion, by the, here on the shitty chin chin routing two units the Galatians running after one Galatian gone we have 71 and we've got 14 he's just there's no formation and these Macedonians are getting all the charters in the world 17 men can they rack up even more kills 455 kills we see one unit routing still moving not even set at all another hit another hit right in, right in. Let's see the damage. He's come back around. He's using battle rhythm. 17 men still alive. But one Galatian just did only killed one, but look at that. He's routing. He's routing after just one man dying. Still no formation. He's forming something in dead bodies, I guess. And here comes the next hit. Urgh, huge. Glorious hit. Oh, the other Galatian is routed. This Galatian says, I gotta go home too. I gotta go home too. The general being gone, no morale. Will they hold here? Are they gonna be able to withstand one more charge? Here come the companion. Not facing the right way. Not facing the right way. Ah, big hit. Big hit, the routing. The companion cap got to pull it off, pulling 500 plus kills as it eats. Is finished your total world league two champion the first ever to be crowned the first ever and his name is white cloud congratulations a massive massive victory comeback victory against Pelis. he did not give up and he went hard he went hard hard what a battle my goodness let's take a quick Peek at the stats and guys it's the companion cav and the thessalian combining what is that five six seven that's almost that's over 700 kills approaching 800 my lord the pikemen just just cannon fodder the galatians like pieces of paper when they came across these men congratulations and what a performance what heart as the big factor here was that general getting picked off galatia let his general get picked only 13 kills if he kept that cav i was i think he could have had a much much better chance he i think it would have secured it secured it as galatia did get more kills but they just no morale the morale busted the general gone the the skirm cam putting up decent numbers and the arrows just could not keep the arrows protected but both guys both moving on to total war league congratulations to both for that we are very excited to see them in their next season you can catch this action guys total war league 2 on wednesdays this starts up wednesday august 19th this is your this is a little bit of a little bit of a hype so please check that out we're on twitch.tv slash curve bubbles the emperor will be live at 8 30 p.m central time and then on friday we start total war league Total War League are the top, the best of the best. We can see White Cloud and Peleus who have earned their way and they fought in a $410 prize pool this season. So we cannot wait. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Glory to you, damn it. And glory, or remember to like and subscribe, and glory to the Empire.